Hi, my name is Brian Tomaszewski. In this video, I will teach you about machine learning in ArcGIS Pro. Welcome to GIS Masterclass. Machine learning has reemerged in recent years as an essential analytical technique for dealing with large volumes of data. And GIS is no stranger to incorporating machine learning methodologies into software environments like ArcGIS Pro. Thus, this GIS Masterclass video series is designed for people who have a serious interest in learning an advanced skill set with ArcGIS Pro software in terms of using machine learning tools. Also, to be clear, this video does not cover background GIS concepts such as shapefiles, raster, and vector. If these topics are new to you, take a look at the card above to get background on these GIS core concepts. This video also assumes that you have a basic understanding of using the ArcGIS Pro software environment. If you are brand new to using ArcGIS Pro, this card will help you get introduced to the software in general. However, you will find that through this video series, you will learn more about the operation of ArcGIS Pro. Also, I should mention that depending on when you are watching this video, I am going to be using ArcGIS Pro version 2.7. This GIS Masterclass series also assumes that you have no background in machine learning, although it is helpful to have some basic understanding of statistical concepts. Also, I introduce machine learning at a very gentle level, so hopefully topics I will discuss in this video series will give you motivation to learn more about machine learning with GIS. In this video series, I will also use a case study to demonstrate the topics I will teach you about. To help reinforce the concept you will learn about in these videos, I have provided a GIS laboratory exercise that will give you a hands-on walkthrough later in these videos. You can download this GIS exercise from the link provided in the video description below. So if you're watching this video as part of a class assignment, you can use the laboratory exercise to assess your learning of these topics. In the GIS laboratory exercise, we will conduct a machine learning analysis of imagery from Hurricane Dorian that occurred in 2019 in the Bahamas. If you have seen other GIS masterclass videos on this channel, you will recognize this case study. So with this background in mind, let me tell you now about what topics I will teach you about in this video series. In this GIS Masterclass video series, I will teach you about four things. First, I'll give you a general introduction of machine learning, agnostic of any connection to GIS, so you can learn about machine learning in general. Next, I'll talk to you about the kinds of things you can do with machine learning and GIS tools. I think you'll find this helpful for understanding what might be possible with using machine learning on spatial data. So if you have a background in machine learning, but not in GIS, you will find many of these concepts familiar. Then with this background in mind, I'll then give you a tour of some of the machine learning tools that exist in the ArcGIS Pro software environment. ArcGIS Pro comes with many out of the box machine learning tools that do not require any specialized skills, such as computer programming with a language like Python. I will then give you an overview of a complete machine learning with GIS workflow. This will give you the big picture as we then move into the actual hands-on demonstration of a machine learning GIS workflow as per the GIS laboratory exercise that you can download from the video description below. Let me quickly tell you a little more about the case study and how it relates to the GIS laboratory exercise. 
I will use a case study of satellite imagery analysis related to a disaster management application. Specifically, I'll use Hurricane Dorian, which happened in 2019 and created significant damages in the country of the Bahamas. A very common activity in natural disasters that have impacted very large areas is to use machine learning techniques to automatically classify damage that has occurred based on aerial images that are collected immediately after a disaster has occurred. Therefore, I will show you how to go about doing such a workflow using disaster management as an example. However, the techniques I will show you are applicable to any case study where you need to classify images to identify areas of interest, whether it's disaster management, environmental resources, or anything else where remote sensing imagery can be beneficial to your analysis. This is what the end result of the GIS laboratory exercise looks like. Between discussion of the concepts discussed and the hands-on GIS laboratory exercise, I hope that you'll feel prepared to start working with machine learning techniques in ArcGIS Pro on your own. However, if there's something in these videos you think I'm missing or could expand upon more, please leave comments below in the video. Next up, let's start talking about what machine learning is. The following are references used for this lecture. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.